Falcon's flight will become the world's tallest, longest, and fastest roller coaster. But will it actually get built? Welcome to Theme Park Predictions and more, and join me as I take a deep look into this massive new Intamin coaster and tell you why I think we could see a few layout modifications. But first, if you don't know about Falcon's Flight, well, it's set to become the largest and fastest roller coaster ever built, and will become the focal point of a brand new theme park called Six Flags Cadia. Now, if you're wondering where this park is located, it's around 11 hours west of Dubai in Saudi Arabia. When opened, Six Flags Cadia will offer a very beautiful setting with a giant cliff that runs along the back side of the park. Basically think Six Flags Fiesta Texas on steroids. So how massive is Falcon's flight? 525 feet is the rumored height, which is 99 feet taller than King de Ka. Speeds of 155 miles an hour, which is 6 miles an hour faster than Formula Rosa. And finally, a track length of 13,000 feet, which means Falcon's flight will be 4,867 feet longer than Steel Dragon 2000. Not only does Falcon's flight break records, it destroys them. But there is one record that no one really seems to be talking about, and that is the coaster's massive tunnel dive that travels right through the cliff. Now if built, this would become the world's longest tunnel on a roller coaster. But I feel as if when we see the final layout of Falcon's Flight, this will be heavily modified in some way, and more on that in a few minutes. Falcon's Flight will offer the most insane layout ever created on a roller coaster since the ride will feature a lift hill plus multiple launches. And not to mention that lift hill right out of the station will not be the tallest point of the coaster. Now when you add all that together, you probably are looking at the world's best roller coaster when it opens. Now from the start, I have thought there is no way that this coaster or park for that matter actually gets built. I mean after all, every time a Six Flags park gets announced overseas, the project never works out. But they are actually starting construction and Intamin is currently looking to hire a site operations manager for their coasters located at Six Flags Cadia. Now this position will be a two-year tenure to oversee everything, but I'm a little surprised that there's no mention of the record-breaking coaster in this. Now you might not be aware yet, but Six Flags Cadia will also be opening another Intamin LSM coaster, and this one is is a record-breaking one as well that will feature a vertical spike, a swing launch, and an upside-down top hat, which will sure to become the world's tallest inversion when it opens. So that leads us to the question, will Falcon's flight actually get built? With how huge this coaster is and how well equipped the park will look even without Falcon's flight, I could very well see this coaster getting delayed and or scrapped altogether. It's honestly hard to say since we haven't heard much lately on this project. According to the concept artwork for the new park and coaster, Falcon's flight will offer some insane elements. But one thing we have to remember is that what has been shown to us so far is just concept artwork and this doesn't mean everything you see is confirmed. In fact, parks do this all the time. With that said, it would not surprise me if we see a few major changes to the coaster's layouts. And the main one is the dive through the rock cliff. While this would become the highlight of the coaster for many, this one element would cost millions upon millions of dollars. Digging out a tunnel of that size plus constructing coaster track through it would be a huge project that could be one of the first things modified, again, in my opinion. Now I hope I'm wrong, since this element does look amazing, but I could very well see the coaster featuring a near vertical drop off of the cliff instead of digging right through it. Even though Six Flags Cadia appears to have unlimited funds, I just feel as if this is something to keep an eye on. Now the only other thing I can see getting modified would obviously be some of those turns you see in the concept POV since there really is no banking whatsoever. Overall, Falcon's Flight will become a record breaking coaster that will become a bucket list one for many of us. But am I the only one 
out there that feels as if this coaster might not get built after all. I just feel like there's a ton of moving pieces with this project that could easily be solved as let's just get rid of it because we already have a great seller lineup already in place even without Falcon's Flight. What do you think? And what do you think about Falcon's Flight? Be sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.